If you want the cheapest coins around, go to ufifa.com. Prices start from about a pound per 100k on all platforms. Use the code TVM to get them that cheap. The link is in the description. Go check them out. What is going on guys, CVM here, welcome to Ebra on Tour, it is 20 to 4 in the morning, let's do this. This is the second half of the French Tour, um, the tour that I thought would be the easiest, the country that I thought would be the easiest, sorry, uh, because of the, the fact that he plays in the French League, you get a lot of links with Matuidi, etc, um, etc, et pretty much anyone you put in there you're going to get a link with, uh, and I wanted Ben Arthur for skills, for obvious reasons, uh, but, um, see what I did there, French accent, <laughs> no, uh, but uh, yeah, it was one of the, well I say one of the most annoying, only played twice, uh, two of them, but um, still really, really annoying to play with. Not the best side ever. Speaking of which, this team was interesting. Tevez in there for absolutely no reason whatsoever. But I digress. In the bottom right-hand corner, that is how many goals we have got with Ibrahimovic, and we need to get to that uh, number five at least. Number six is where I would like to get, but five bare minimum, because there's no way we're going to play the final squad with a bronze player. We need to get at least silvers in the final squad. What I'm trying to explain to you guys, if you don't know what it is, you should really go watch the first episode, but if you don't know how this all works, uh, we go around different countries, we play five games in each country, and the goal is to score at least six goals so we can get a goal player. The key is in the description, however, I will be going over it after, um, well, maybe in the next minute or two. We'll see what happens, though. We clatter one off the bar with Ibra, and then Molo, who is possibly one of the worst players I have ever used in FIFA, manages to miss an open goal. Then Ibra's at it again, brilliant bit of skill, round about 17 players, shoots it, deflects back to Molo. He needs two chances to put that in, and he nearly misses the header as well. Uh, it doesn't count as a goal for Ibra or anything towards the um, the total, but still, it is a goal, and Ibra manages to worm his way into the box, can't quite finish it, and then the uh, the striker can't reach it. But from the resulting corner, Bosch Ibra makes it four, which means now we are at the cusp of the next level. Zero to four is bronze, five is silver, six is gold. We need one more goal to secure a silver player. We completely fluff our lines by our, f me, I mean the goalkeeper. Hugo Lloris is equally as shit as Molo. Really, really bad. Do not use him. Ibra clatters one off the bar towards the end of the game, but it does finish 2-1. Unfortunately, that is not what we need. Um, a 2-1 victory is all well and good. It does add to the packs, which again I will talk to, talk to, talk about at the end of Le Episode. But uh, for the time being, that is not exactly what we need. We need more goals with Ibrahimovic. So we're going to go into the next game hoping to get some. Um, like I said, we need one more now to secure the silver player for the final squad. He very nearly got it in the first two minutes of the game. Good header from Ibra, but not quite good enough, not quite on target and just all around shit. He's through on goal again and another good save from the goalkeeper. We're getting closer and closer and closer. Unfortunately, my... Um, intelligence is not exactly uh, FIFA standard, or FIFA standard's really not my intelligence level. I've got no idea what I'm talking about. Basically, uh, the game flamingoed up, which is like a cocker, but much, much bigger. If you can tell me what TV show that is from, you win a prize. And, uh, yeah, we basically end up cocking it up. But uh, Ibra goes on a massive skill run, manages to take on everybody, can't quite beat the goalkeeper. Then the goalkeeper tips it over the bar for a corner. Nothing comes from the corner. We go again. Ibrahimovic then in the middle of the park. He just cannot stop skilling. Good shot from distance, but a good save from the goalkeeper. Really trying to get that goal, but it's just not coming for us at the moment. Ibrahimovic again on the ball in the centre of the park. Takes on three defenders, then lays it off. Lacazette then puts it past the post. And we're still trailing in this game. Uh, it doesn't really matter about the result, obviously, but a goal for Ibra would be much appreciated. Ibra cannot get out of the way of Hatem Ben Arfa. Finally does. Ball falls to Matuidi. Took it off Ibra's foot. He goes to celebrate. Ibra, Ibra then clotheslines him and says, what are you doing, you prick? Uh, but unfortunately, we go into the interval at 1-1 with no Ibra goal. It is really, really frustrating at the moment in this game because we've had so many opportunities with Ibra but not managed to actually score with him, which is irritating. Speaking of irritating this guy has been non-existent in this game absolutely just wow he's not been in the game at all and still managed to score two goals 
that is the most frustrating thing ever. But thankfully we have a release because Ibra puts the ball in the back of the net to make it five. And that means we now have a silver player to go into the final squad. If you look at the stats, I deserve to win that game. But I didn't because I didn't take my chances. Bosch, there we go. Ibrahimovic has got five goals with one game remaining. So we need one goal in our final game in order to move from five to six goals and we can get our gold player. If he can go on a rampage and get three goals, then we could potentially have an in another inform because we've got nine goals from Sweden, of course. Anyway, this team is a good one, so we're going to be lucky to get anything from it. Now, I've got a confession to make. I have got a confession. As Ibra scores to make it six, which secures the goal player, can he go on to score another two and get a inform? I have a confession to make, and that is I did not play this game. This is not me playing... You are watching my girlfriend play. That's right. I, I, I don't even know why I let her do it. But basically, she likes to play FIFA. So I, instead of uh, wasting time watching her play for absolutely no reason at all, I decided to let her play the last Ebra game. Thankfully, she scored a goal with Ebra, which means... Um, she managed to get the goal player but from there on it was a little bit ropey and dodgy and we were lucky to get away with anything really there was a, a few times in this game where I thought we were going to end up losing it uh, for those of you who don't believe me that this is her she plays quite a lot of FIFA uh, believe it or not it's not me forcing her either people always think that it's me forcing her but um, you can tell it's not me because there's no skill there involved at all it's literally just stop and turn and there's no finesse because that's just not something that she has in her locker unfortunately however something she does have in her locker is lucky lucky goals and he, she manages to score one there to make it 2-0 it's not an Ebra goal unfortunately I did say to her try and score goals with Ebra but it's just not something that she was really trying to do then she conceded a goal there good effort and then she threw the controller at me and I managed to see out the game 2-1 in the final moments but uh, what does that mean for the uh, the whole kit and caboodle it means that we have six goals from the tour in France the tour in France is now over we have six goals and we managed to secure two packs uh, from the two victories that we managed to pick up. Uh, one at the end and the one in match day three, which was the start of this episode. Um, which means it takes us up to six packs in total for the whole series. What that means is um, we now have a inform player and a goal player to put into the final squad uh, ready for the final leg of the tour which will conclude in the UK and we have uh, six packs to open so we pick two players from those six packs as it stands the best two players or any two players that we want and we put them in the final squad and build the squad around them the players that we use to build around are the players that we are acquiring here so for instance in Sweden we picked up an inform in France we picked up a gold I will pick whatever ones I want to go around the two best players in those packs that makes perfect sense for those of you who still don't understand how this works we are now going from France to Colombia a few of you uh, corrected me in the comment section I thought for some reason we were going to, straight to Argentina which would have made no sense going through Brazil to come back up through um, uh, yeah it doesn't make any sense so we are going to Colombia next that is going to be interesting quite a few players we can use I haven't built the squad yet I haven't actually done that leg of the tour so if you've got any recommendations for players that I can use from Colombia with Ibra that would um Give me the full chem. If you want to build a squad and let me know in the comment section, you feel free because I won't actually be recording this until the day after I've uploaded it because we've got a big pack opening coming uh, in tomorrow's uh, video slot. So the day after will be the, the next leg of the tour. But anyway, that's it from me. If you've enjoyed it, please smack that like button. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see more content, uh, potentially with commentary, possibly if I can convince her from my girlfriend because obviously she's not that bad playing FIFA because she did actually win 2-1. Uh, and if you, ha if you do want to build an amazing squad with Ibra and you need the coins, go check out ufifa.com and use the code TVM. It helps me out more than you will ever know. So if you do want to help me out in trying to keep the channel going and you do want coins, you know, you might as well go and use it and use the code TVM. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I shall see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.